As files and folders are created in a local tool then synced with a GitHub repository, it is common to make a naming mistake. This video will demonstrate how to correct such mistakes. In this instance, the local tool is VS Code that is creating and editing folders and files in a local GitHub repository. The repository is being used to serve web pages and accordingly the folders and files should adhere to the web naming rules of 1 all lowercase, 2 no spaces, 3 no special characters, and 4 short but meaningful names. It is absolutely critical that the local and remote repositories should be synchronized prior to going through this renaming process to avoid losing work. To keep things simple, a new folder will be created and a file within the folder. Both will have naming errors. The local repository will then be synced with the remote master branch repository on GitHub. The erroneous names are clearly visible on GitHub. To fix the naming errors, drill down to the file within the folder on GitHub. Once within the file, click the pencil icon which allows the file, and in our case, the file and folder names, to be edited. Click the file name in the path above the code and fix the errors. Then, moving to the first character of the file name, click the backspace key on your keyboard. The slash separator between the file and folder name will disappear and you are now editing the folder name. Fix the errors in the folder name, then moving to the right of the last character in the folder name, type a forward slash, and check the correctness of the file name which you are now editing. Once the folder and file names are correct, scroll to the bottom of the edit screen. In the commit changes area, enter a comment in the comment box. You can add an extended description, but it is not required. Then click the commit changes button. Once the changes are made, you are returned to the GitHub repository overview and the folder and file names should now reflect the changes. Return to VS Code, click the source control icon, it's the stylized Y, and in the top corner of the panel, click the ellipse icon. From the menu, select Pull. The remote changes should now be pulled from the remote repository to your local repository and the new names should be shown. That's it. The process is slightly painful, but less so than some other possible alternatives.